Welcome back everybody to the Zoo Stars Unemulated Retro Game Channel. Well, it is shit game time once again and this edition, what have we got? Well, you can't really tell with that, can you, unless you've read the description of the video. But that is the starting screen to Green Beret on the Commodore 16. Now this has been a paid request by YouTuber William Harrison. It feels like this definitely needs to be flushed down the poop tube into the vault of shitness. So uh, I shall do my best to do that, mate. And um, looking at the info, which he was uh, very uh, politely ad added for me, uh, it tells me that the price tag for this was seven ninety five. Incredible, seven ninety five. A sixteen k game developed by Imagine Software, and you know, again, eighty six. I didn't think we were seeing many Commodore sixteen games by then. But most people upgraded to sixty four. I never saw many advertisements in the mags about Commodore 16 versions of the game. When Imagine Ocean advertised games, it was always Spectrum 48K, Splash 128, Amstrad C64, and of course later on Atari ST and Amiga. I never saw C16, 1986 anyway. But anyway, who was it published by? As I said, it was Imagine, one of my favorite software companies. Um, who is it, uh, let's have a look. Who is it produced by? David Ward. So it sounds like one guy this uh, that's the only information I have got so no time at the present let's see what this is like right stab to start and you can tell straight away look at this oh my word oh you get better quality on a handheld LCD game back in the day Oh, blimey. Was there any really good games on the Commodore 16? Well, I remember um, uh, Cave Fighter was a good game. Oh. You can jump. Look at the look at the box around him. Kind of clash, eat your heart out. Oh, my word. It, it really is. Look at that game over already. It's like... Um, it is like a handheld game, LCD handheld game back in the mid late eighties. There's oh dear, I forgot to crouch. Should have crouched there. Oh. Oh, so you can crouch, but you can't stab at the same time. That makes no sense. Oh god, the only minute sound effect is a little crunch noise when you punch. That is it. Oh. Oh, that's, that's just ridiculous. And your lives can go so quickly as well. Oh, it's so bland. <laughs> wow. £7.95. Ah. Uh. Oh, come on. Good God. This is unbearably bad, isn't it? How can you charge seven ninety five for this? That's insane. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just so there's no title screen at all. Oh, there's a little bit of a glitch there. But what's the point? You can't you can't fire while you're down. You're supposed to be able to crouch. Instead you're doing you're just doing press ups. <laughs> Look, one, two, three, four, five. Good old press ups. Do some exercises while I'm taking on these lot. Ugh. Oh, shocking. Shockingly bad. 
stage one. Seven pound ninety five. Where did any software companies bother with a C sixteen by then? This was just said that's it. We moved on now. Commodore sixty four games only. If you're going to program for the Commodore sixteen from nineteen eighty six seven eight, you know around that era, I don't know what what year it really did finally stop for the C sixteen, but should have been no more than a one ninety nine price tag. Seven ninety five back in nineteen eighty six. You're talking over twenty quid in today's money. Twenty quid for this. Uh. Now I can't say it's one of the worst games I've ever seen on the Commodore 16 because I haven't really explored the Commodore 16. I know a lot of games are pretty basic. So it might be one of the worst games I've ever seen, but is it one of the worst games on the Commodore 16? That is a different question. Just keep running. I ain't got past this next screen. I keep dying here. There you go. Right back to the start again. Ugh. <laughs> oh god. Is this the best you could have done on this machine? Is it? And if it is, why could you justify the price tag? More like brown beret. Was it shit? It's so bad. Ugh. See, they, they shoot you so quickly, and you can't, you, you can't, um, you can't seem to crouch. You can crouch, no, in the, in the game, you can crouch and stab, but this, you're just doing bloody press-ups. So I don't know if you can actually avoid the bullets, and, and, see, you can't. How are you supposed to, I'm just going to duck see what happens, and you die as well. Uh, how has anyone possibly got past the first level of this? I'd expect a game like this in 1981, 82, not 86. You think of the games we had back then in 86. I mean, you had, all right, different format, but you had Dynamite Dan on the Spectrum. Look how amazing that was. As rock hard as it was, look how amazing that was. And here we are a year later, and this... You're playing this? Oh, awful. Oh, please, anyone in the comments justify this mess. For £7.95. Roughly £20 in today's money. Come on, I dare you to justify it. <laughs> oh, your lives go so quickly. God, this reminds me of a Commando on the Commodore 16. You just die so quickly. But you can't get away from the bullets. That's the thing, you can't... Oh my word, this is terrible. Absolutely terrible. You didn't hit me. You hit me, yeah. You got me with a bullet. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. <sighs> Just come on, it's ridiculous. Well, have you ever seen such a bland game? Ugh, I just, oh God, I don't know what you want me to say, William, I'm just shocked. Uh, it's just so bad. Does anyone like this game? Does anyone like this version of the game? Green Beret is a classic. Um, but seriously, why did they bother? And if they did, this should have been automatic budget department stuff. By 86, things like the ZX, uh, the uh, Spectrum 16K, the Commodore 16, machines like that, which were sort of played a lot back in 19, you know, 83, I guess. This should have had an automatic budget department. 
Any games produced up for these those two machines are automatically on a budget price. You can't charge the same price for the flipping for the Commodore 64 and Spectrum versions. They're pretty much the same with a give or take a pound. Pretty much the same. Um, that you can justify a bit more, but this is um, it's just bad, isn't it? To say the least, and you die so quickly. You can't avoid. You can avoid the bullets by ducking, but you can't stab while on the floor, which was one of the useful things you could do in all the other any other versions, including the arcade, of course. Wow. This is um. <laughs> look at that great big border. Now that is color clash. Clash. Oh, last go. I don't even know why I'm bothering. Why am I even bothering? These 16k games are so small. There's not much you can do. You can review about them. There's nothing much to say. Oh, that's ridiculous. Fuck this. <laughs> so, William, that's... Wow. Uh, that is awful, isn't it? £7.95. I'm not even going to carry on. That's going straight into the shit, Bill. Down the poop tube, into the vault of shit in this river. That is getting a whopping turd toilet blocker. <laughs> that's getting 97 shits, even if it's for a Commodore 16. I'm sure that machine could do better than this. And if it couldn't, no way should you be charging £7.95 back in 1986 for this. When you could just buy, the, for the same amount of money, give or take a pound, you could be playing the Commodore 64 version, which was vastly superior. Shocking. So, um, yes. Uh, did I say his name was David Ward? So stand up, mate. You made addition of... Shit game time, and rightfully so. If you ever get to see this, please justify this. You obviously wouldn't have any say in what the price tag is. That's down to obviously management of Imagine, Stroke Ocean, whatever. Um, but come on, was this the best in your mind that could have been done on a Commodore 16 for Green Beret? Really? Look at it. It's just... It's just... Bleh, you know, it's, it's bleh. And, bleh, you know... It, yeah, an LCD game. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, what were they called? Not wrist and watch. What were they called? Um, Nintendo brought them out. Little NCD games used to play on the coach trips to, uh, uh, on the school day outs, that kind of thing. You know what I'm about. Um, terrible. <laughs> Just, wow. Oh, let me know, please, in the comments below what you think of this game um, and its price tag. Unbelievable. <sighs> right. Thank you all for tuning in for this edition of Shit Game Time. Be sure to keep checking out the channel. Subscribe if you haven't. And in a moment, three videos, four videos will pop up. Three with random Shit Game Time, other videos you can watch. And your request videos where you can place your requests. All proceeds, all five pounds will still be going towards uh, my Labrador's TPLO knee surgery recovery charges. Thank you very much again. Until next time, take care of yourselves. Zeus, out of shitsville.